I'm Dr. Sybil Ann Williams. I'm a gynecologic oncologist at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. One of the great things about being here is that the connection with the patient is so valued. The, um, we have adequate time to see patients, to answer all their questions, to go through scans with them, um, to take all the time that we need to answer all of their questions and to really make sure that they're a part of the care, that uh, they're a participant in the decision-making process, and um, that we're there for them. At other places where I've been, I've, I've and when I was in academic medicine, the residents that I worked with um, always knew that I would really get on their case if they were referring to a patient as the breast cancer in room 23. The patient isn't a breast cancer. It's Mrs. Smith or Mrs. Jones. She could be your aunt, your mother, your sister. And that's who you're taking care of. When Lori first came to Cancer Treatment Centers of America, she was very afraid. Um, she'd also had a little bit of a difficult time in her initial interaction and uh, experience in uh, with the medical profession around her diagnosis. And um, being able to spend some time with Lori and to explain things to her, and hopefully also to calm her fears, uh, to be able to explain that she actually had a very good prognosis, that there were many things that could be done, and that we expected her to live a long and healthy life. I think um, really was able to help her make a decision in terms of where she needed to go with her treatment. All it takes is uh, some, I think, TLC, you know, thinking about the patient. How would you like to be treated if you were in that position? You would like to have somebody explain to you what's going on and to be truthful with you, to not to hold out false hope, but to explain. Um, I have patients come to me who are concerned that uh, they have three months to live. And, you know, I have no idea why people would say such a thing to a patient. Um, obviously, we want to um, explain the situation, but also to hold out hope. There are things that we can do. Often there are things that may not necessarily um, be curative, but there are things that we can do to help people live with the illness that they have and to uh, continue to have a meaningful life for as long as possible. It's fantastic when we see patients coming back who are um, survivors to know that we have been able to impact on their lives, to be able to restore them to health, um, to really help them to get through this tremendous thing that they've um, had to deal with in their life. And uh, it, it's just marvelous and heartwarming to see. Cancer is mean. Uh, cancer is tough. Uh, cancer um, is survivable. Um, cancer can be beaten.